I'm doing this as a public service. Yeah, I want to spread this awareness because I believe it's required more now than ever. And this is not going to stop, ladies and gents. I've been talking about this since almost three years, since my beginning of the YouTube career. Seeing the the dude I called out grow to 600,000 and still growing versus me not, that clearly shows how the whole world unfortunately works. Can't stop the grifter, but at least I can. what I can do is spread awareness. And that's exactly what I'm doing. All right. And I'll try to keep it short. And it's concerning because right now, these dudes are still milking. One thing to note, whether these guys get caught, whatever happens to them, they go to jail, doesn't matter. It can happen. It can never happen. It can happen once they're dead in the day of judgment. Who knows? They'll continue doing what they do. I'll continue following my mission, right? And I, I can urge, all I can do is urge that you take a stand and at least have an open mind, do your research. Yes, money can be made in so many ways. You can make money just by following the so-called influencer or the, even the scammer. If you follow, just along, walk along with them, you can actually make a piece of the pie. But also realize where that piece of the pie is coming from. If that doesn't matter to you at all, that's fine. So without wasting time, it's about super farm again, because and all I'm going to do is literally show you a thread real quick. And I'll just read from the comments. Most of the, yeah, the users, they have done the work for me. A lot of hate sometimes, but this barely any hate. Wow. OK, check this out again. I'm just reporting, not giving you my emotions or I got rugged, this and that. It's not my review, literally reporting what I've seen. That's it. Did not know this was briefly. This is the comment on the video I've done on Super Farm Elliot Trace Alex Baker. You can see the trial, the same pattern. All right. And that has been going on. This guy never delivered anything so far. Literally simple questions, no answers. And again, you'll see people in the comments. I made money from Super Farm. Yes, you can make money because they will pump the token. They are insiders there. Like I mentioned, it's, it's so clear in the blockchain, yet people fall for it. And you'll see this here. Did not know this. Was briefly invested like two months ago, but sold already. Very scummy. Well, that shows so many people still fall. I do my best to respond. I, there are a lot of comments everywhere throughout my channels. Whenever I can, I do respond. All right. Great video. Thanks. It is disgusting, my man. Disgusting. And I agree with you. It is crazy how long this has been going on and people still fall for this shit. Still pumping and no feature. It was 30 cents. It pumped to like dollar. I don't want to get into that right now charts, but assuming Alex Becker and others are pumping because one comment literally said it. Right. And this was 10 days ago. So from 10 days to now, you can see the pattern. It doesn't stop. These guys will keep going. They just look for new suckers. And if you ask them the simple question, there's no answer. So ask yourself when you ask, hey, man, what happened to the previous projects? There's no deliveries at all. What happened to the game? This guy still says it's the biggest gaming hub. What game? I'm a gamer. I've been a gamer. You see that the gaming controller there? I've been a gamer. I stream. All right. So I understand gaming to some extent. And when I see gaming companies, AAA companies, they're also laying off. And then here, Alex Baker comes and says he's going to be the biggest thing. Damn, his video shows super at 34 cents. So glad I didn't buy in and get a 4x from that. How terrible it is. Yeah, you should have bought in, right? So that super right? exactly the point, because when it goes down, these guys will come and pump it and same thing. So if you buy and profit just for me, the point is profit, but be real. Say that you profited from a scam Z. Why just fake it? No, man, defend it. If your mom and dad bought that token, would you actually say the same thing? No, maybe, right? Elio trades, he himself wouldn't tell his family to buy hold these NFTs. You do understand there's this thing called Elio Trades NFTs, right? Matter of fact, I would like to pull that up right now if I can. You want to see it? Let's do it. Open C. Let's actually do this real quick. Open C. We will search Elio Trades. All right, NFTs. Check this out. Okay. Wow, 410 owners, one person listed. Creator earning 10% royalty. Created Feb 2021. Go check on the dates. Super Farm, Elio Trace NFT, Superstarter. What are these? What are these for? For them. 
to milk as much as possible. They get listing fees, advisor fees, money from YouTube AdSense, sponsorships. I mean, dude, you're just making him richer and richer and richer. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I just want to let you know what's happening because a lot of you don't know exactly what's happening, right? I'm just letting you know. I'm not telling you what to do, what not to do. Whether you want to follow them or not, that's up to you, all right? But check this out here. Best offer, best offer, 500 USD. Wait, no, no, no. I thought it's like a thousand. Are you kidding me? Total volume at the peak, 5,000 plus ETH. You know how much money they've been milk. Look at this NFTs here. You know what is this? Look at this here. What is this? What is this? Who is this? This is Elio's girlfriend, maybe now wife. I don't know, but this is Dijan Vaifu. Oh, 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 am I supposed to buy right now? Wait, M March 26th. So check this out here. Who's doing all this thing? Who do you think is doing this? And what's the point of trading this thing here? Why should somebody buy and sell this thing? Because he will give you an access, insider access to her? I, I don't know, I'm just curious. Like if I hold this or whoever is holding this, what? What do you do with this? Like you hold, get access to her or something? A private session? OnlyFans? I'm just curious. Weird, right? Like this is just, just shows you what these guys were thinking. Self-centered. This is, well, who is this? Who do you think is this? Ask yourself, who do you think is this? Right? The dude has an NFTs on himself. I mean, narcissist, narcissistic? I don't know. I'll let you decide. So he's holding a gold gem there, here, right there, right? Selling it for $2,000. I mean, who's gonna buy this? Listed April 9, 2024. Wait, sale, sale ends. <laughs> it's on sale. Just check on this here. USD price, just go and see what's happening here. Expiration date, four hours. Above, below, 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 53% below, below. Who's gonna buy this? That's Alio Trace NFTs. That's how everything started. This guy just started this based on the Beeple's 69 million thing. He's, every opportunity he's seen, so-called grifting opportunity, he took advantage of it. Superstarter, what happened to Superstarter? Elliot, Elliot Trace, Banter, Alex Becker, these guys are just pumping the same tokens just to make them billions. Believe it or not, I see what's happening and I kind of laugh at, as well because I do my own thing, right? I make my living off Amazon and other stuff. I enjoy doing what I do. I could do exactly what they do, but I can't relate to it. Like, I can't teach that to my grandkids and, you know, my niece and nephews. I can actually show them what I'm doing, unboxing and Amazon stuff. I don't think Alex Becker can, he shows this to his, you know, people. He literally plays this Dijon, fakey, whatever dude, just Elliot Trace. And when they shut their thing off, they're like, Mama, can I get the chocolate pie? And I'm like, hello, ladies and gents, you should buy the super token. It's going to go to the moon. Yeah, they just play different characters. They're not even real. If they are, get them live. Get them on a live stream. Ask these few questions and see what happens. And I'll come back to it in a second. Let's actually finish up with this, right? All right, let's go back. Let's see. Oh, what else is there? There's no more top comments? I don't want top comments. Newest first. Oh, he says good video. Oh, no, no, no. Influencers promoting Super Token are literally saying they are going to dump. Go watch any of their videos. They are not hiding it. If people buy anything after doing a 10x over the few months, most likely going to get wrecked. You can buy. No problem with that. I don't know why he's saying I'm begging for engagement, but that's fine. Yeah, sure. Uh, did not know this. Same thing. Yesterday. All right. Check this out. Yesterday, Alex Becker. I think it's the same comment, right? Okay, let's actually play this one here. Yesterday, Alex Becker was on Twitter saying that Super is undervalued. Undervalued at almost 2 billion market cap. That to me was a major signal to exit this market. Just for comparison, Ubisoft is at 4 billion and he was also comparing. That's what he, do, he does all the time. Super is this. Look at this market cap. Just like he said, coal stack. Go find out what happened to Superstarter and every single project launched on Superstarter and how much they got paid. My only thing is, oh man, I made money. Fine, you made money. If your mom and dad lost money in that field and you made money, would you have taken a stand or not? If yes, then you're a hypocrite, right? So Ubisoft, okay, literally zero games. Zero nada is at almost 2 billion. Bro, this shit is the biggest scam on crypto space. These guys are a bunch of... I know, this is one of the biggest I've seen ever, believe it or not. You might not understand the numbers I'm saying, because being in the USA and collaboratively doing this, you have not seen this, because most people who are doing this are anons, other places, right? Most of them, like MMF and all that stuff. But this one is huge. 
And it's just not one project, man. From the NFTs itself, then you have the imposters NFTs. And now there's zero deliverables, like zero. This guy raised millions multiple times. And with so much of following, he's going to do so much damage. So my point is, I'm just spreading awareness. A couple of you will probably come and be like, oh, let me subscribe to this guy. Sure. Why not, right? At least I can do the right thing and get, gain some subscribers. Then doing what they're doing is I can relate to that. I can just keep pumping and then I'm like, it's just not my thing. Simple, right? And hence, like I said, if they can come up and answer the simple questions, which I'm going to ask at the end, we'll take it from there. But this is exactly the point. It's ridiculous, right? Even with all these videos, yet the audacity to actually come up and pump. And you can see that chart and talk about it every now and then and avoid too much attention. You'll see. They don't just obviously do it. They have this pattern. One will talk about it. They'll come all of a sudden. He talks about this. The other, after a certain time, will mention and they will do it in a very subtle way. And Alex even says it because this guy has done a lot of damage in the marketing field. This guy's a marketer. If you look in Elio Trade's profile in the LinkedIn so-called, it's well, he's like a marketing guy. So this guy literally is a marketing. They are all marketing shields, shields to you. So they realize instead of marketing other people's project, which is like pennies, how about create a whole audience base and shill our own project? Because that's the money. That's real money, right? Instead of joining ideas and pre-list, it's always the who sells the shovel. Understand this. The person who sells the shovel. So what all they're doing is selling you the shovel. Hey, don't go to the meme places. Let me give you the meme. Super is the meme. Get on, get on super. But the problem with that is it's rigged. That's a problem. Because when you go to a casino, which is like, okay, 50-50 decentralized is a different story. But when you are in a Ponzi field where the whole thing is controlled by these guys, and you know they are holding this token, they can do whatever, it's just you can't win. You get lucky. Some few gets lucky and they come and say, hey man, you was wrong. I Just because you made money. I mean, you can make money in so many ways. I keep saying it, right? War is a, what is war? It's a business. People die so others can make money, unfortunately, right? Anyways, now I want to show you one thing and I'm going to end this. You ready? Let's do this. Check this out. November 8, 2023, right? I, I just created this video because there's one thing I have here. It's rebel.cx slash x. If you get in there, you can see this. There are several more, which I'm going to add later on. Elliot Turd, right? CryptoLarp, ZSS Bakur. I'm just going to open two. One and this two. Others, maybe some other time. Just two, right? He himself has an entire several threads, not one. I don't know which one you want to see. The investigative report itself shows you everything from top to the beginning, bottom, literally. The sources has everything. Shows you the location of his shell, the LLC he has created, Super Lab, Super Farm, names, Elliot Venman. But yet, like I said, they don't care. Nobody cares. You can see what's happening. You can get away with it. Unfortunately, it can happen. Maybe 10, 20 years, 40 years later, they're caught. People dig their past. Some judge wants to dig their past, finds my thing, some rebellious judge or rebellious investigator comes out be like you know what let me dig in the past then that happens people go back and then you, you see what what i mean right it can happen but again that's not in my control i just try to focus on what i can control and i can just give you my information just like what they do the shill i'm giving i'm just letting you know what they're doing simple right i'm just going to see one of these here how about this check this out here here's a terms of service broken down to an eighth grader if you haven't read the terms of service on the imposters or privacy terms, that's his game so-called. Literally, if you haven't read it, man, it literally says that we will deliver nothing and you can complain about it. In such a long form that people don't get it. I get it, right? And if you look here, see here, game terms, the terms don't provide any guarantees about games availability or quality. It tells you, literally, you can't do nothing about it. Lack of transparency. Raise so much money, millions. What happened to the money? Where did all the money go though? So much of salaries they're paying themselves, team members, insiders, no delivery. So money keeps going in. We don't know what the money spent on, right? Like literally it's crazy. Nobody asked that simple question. So it's, it's obvious, right? The money goes in. It, it can't just be burned. Yeah, we are burning the tokens. Come on, dude. Game development. Despite raising millions, there is no game to show. They claim they have a 30 plus team members. 30 plus team members. Name them. Right? It's a wild world out there, man. Tron Chat, Evo, Eliotra's NFTs, which I've just shown you, right? Super Farm, Super Starter, Imposters, Pizza Heroes. What else is there? Again, can't do much, right? Yeah, that's the NFT I've just shown you. That's the, how they get you inside the matrix. <laughs> and there's a whole investigative thread 
And then, ladies and gents, check this out. All right, so how do I play this game, Imposters.io? This wasn't long ago. When I actually went to the website, all I see is imposters with a bunch of leaderboard and a, and a literally Google AdSense. He's driving traffic to that place and he's AdSense. He's also trying to make money from ads and CPAs. I mean, are you kidding me? Because Elliot Trades no, raised has zero limit, millions man. of dollars. If I'm not wrong, it says there is a total of 10,417 unique NFTs on imposters. And I heard some Anons paid $3,000 for each. So just doing the math, it's like $30 million. Or so. You see this? Just not one. I've covered Elio's past camps and blah, blah, blah. Look at this. I talked about this. I have an entire thread and I'll link, I'll link up. Evo, Tron Chat, Pizza Hero, Celitris, NFT, Super Farm, Super Starter, Imposters, Superverse. What does Superverse do? It's a collection of games. We, we connect people with gamers. He's doing the same thing. Using the influencer, your you know following base, to list other people's game so they can charge the games and they will do some pre-ideos. Dude, it's ridiculous, but yeah, I'm not surprised, you know, because I've been seeing this for such a long time and raised millions, 80, raised more than 500,000 with super pre-launch, cashed in on super starter ideals, donkey, cold stack, raised 40 plus million with imposters NFTs. I think it's more than that. Check on the price of each imposters, go see how, what, what they're trading at, whatever. Where did all the money go? Where's the money? I'm serious, where's the money, right? Defraud Evo token investors. Raise money with Super from IDEO. First, defraud investors in the previous round through Tron Chat, because I've seen that. Raise money with Super from IDEO. Super from, he raised money, right? On Super Polka Starter. Defraud whitelist winners, so he can pay back the previous one, alleged. Instead, use the funds to pay previous investors. Yeah. What is that? Isn't that a Ponzi? I mean, dude, Tron Chat, Super from, Superverse, and what's next then? And he's a US citizen. And this is a super token. Right? Man, if you want to go deeper, I and mean, look at this year. The industry. You see this year? The industry is going parabolic. Look at the date. See the date? Feb 2021. Look at the date and the pattern. Exactly. This industry is parabolic with gains, NFTs to explode in 2021. This has massive amount of views. And people are donating him money, shares. You know, and that's irony. This guy made money from donations. I mean, imagine being a scammer, getting free money from donations, from your own projects, from getting lists, from pre ideos from salary you're taking from your own company. <laughs> also creating a non projects under the table and also rugging. I mean, dude, just do you know how much money is involved? Can you even, you can't even imagine. Yeah, it just seems like easy, innocent dudes, but dude, I'm talking huge, huge, huge money. All right. So next time you see them flash or whatever, talk about money, at least understand where the money's coming from. And if you want to entertain that, oh yeah, he, he deserves it. That's up to you. I mean, if you want to teach that to your generations, your family, your kids and stuff, that's up to you. All right. I'm just putting it out there as I can. And last but not the least, don't want to show anything more than this. All right. Because I have this entire stuff, but Alex Becker, since I mentioned, his thread is pretty small here. This dude just keeps following whatever he buys. He told you, if you ride with them, kind of go back and forth earlier, you can probably make it. This is Alex's recent video mentioned something that caught my attention. I don't want to mention this, but here. Alex Becker was exposed by Crypto Twitter. See this? Alex Becker has been promoting. This Alpha Impact, this was Super Starter. See all the projects here? That's Super Starter. All right? And this guy was shilling nonstop. And this wasn't just now. This was from a very long time. He shilled literally everything, right? Donkey, gold stack. You can see the pattern. I'm just gonna play this, which I did before previously. On video game wise, I think we're gonna go back to all time highs in Moon River. On top of that, super. I, I the reason this was way back. Super went to four dollars something, then it dropped because these guys made millions. And then this guy partnered. I mean, of course, why wouldn't he partner? He has a history with Ty Lopez and other in the internet marketing field. Just same old stuff, man. Why I, I really like Super right now is because I talk to Elliot every day. So I know what they're building over at Super. I, I know what they're building as far. And I, I, I'm not going to announce what they're mm. building and everything that's going to go out. I'll let Elliot do that. I, I really think Eli I really think they're going to release a lot of really special things in the next year or two. And I think with the video game narrative, especially you see did you notice something did you notice something the date one was 2021 
just notice it okay because these are important and look at the chat of the chart and the pattern and see 2022 feb he literally said about super farm building what we are two years past and i, I don't get it like <laughs> with elliot's reach especially with all the powerful people that you guys worship this fool instead of like mocking this fool you worship this fool like in real life he wouldn't be able to face anybody in a way like you know he can never say all this shit in anybody's face it's just that you can sit on top of whatever dystopian country milk the plebs because that's an opportunity figured out and he's like you know if i can we have the same mission if i can partner up with elio who has the same shit let's both and you know a couple of others insiders let's just grift before the regulation everything comes in and all and that's about it later they can just keep milking and that's the system ladies and gents unfortunately okay are invested inside of super farm also at having a pretty decent fully diluted market cap you can see it's, it's only in the build it's almost 2x the market cap right now which isn't fantastic but we can go look at other games like i don't know blocktopia one see what he just did again he's comparing with some other project that's what he does all the time oh you know what this cold stack look at this other uh amazon cold stack will take over cold stack is better file storage same thing super farm is better than ubisoft super farm are you kidding me how can you even take this seriously like what a moron man seriously crazy andrew tate is so much better i mean to some extent i mean i don't dig andrew tate's meme tokens and the crypto you know stuff it does but he's much his motivational shit is at least relatable but this is like extreme cringe to the next level this guy's been saying the same thing for two three years i don't know what Ilya is building but he's building something what is he building like is he building under your butthole or something man like it's so dark that nobody can see like so secret yo anyways ladies and gents don't entertain these fools and don't play in the circus because all you will do is like get burned one of the two one two mofos will come out like a winner because yeah winner winner chicken dinner that's what they're gonna do go brag around until they get slaughtered because that's exactly what happens at the end of the day but when that happens they're so like low and coward that they want to come and say yeah man you were right because they support 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 and then they keep supporting those mofos they get taken down then they're like oh my god man yeah i think i should just back out he was right but i'm so my ego is so big i don't i can't admit admit it because yeah i just don't want to do it anyways so ladies and gents that's all i have for you please be careful be vigilant this thing will not stop this is actually one of the biggest scam grift i've ever seen collaborated stuff that's happening and why also i'm saying this because no huge influencers are talking about this puffyzilla might not be able to see this i don't know but this is very huge this is obvious there's zero doubt okay i mean there's zero doubt as of now for me there's zero doubt and i don't need any validation i just want others to do this thing like maybe if coffeezilla calls out i don't care about myself i just want more people to see it puffy has a huge reach so if he does it at least people will know yeah i've been you know real that's all so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video